Okay, the the epoxy clay is hard now, it's hard as a rock. It's still a little bit warm, it's only been like five minutes. Um, so we can finish up the assembly of this eBay. Um, as you can see, I've already done this bulkhead with the uh, screw eyes, or the eye bolt. I'll just, I'll just show you how it goes together. Um, one washer goes on the outside, and this is the outside right there. Then this big washer goes there, then the split ring washer goes there. And you're going to want to lock this one down tight with a pair of pliers. And I want to keep this, try to keep that uh, parallel to this line here. It doesn't really matter. Um, it just gives you extra room when when you put all the nuts on. Okay. And then we'll put this one on the eBay. You can see I got plenty of clearance here now. Um, we probably got more extra parts now because of the way we designed our eBay. We were a little bit smart. So I don't really need any washers on the inside. Um, you do have a split ring washer here. Put that on there. Not sure if we're going to need that or not. And then you'll slide it through this, oops, slide it through the tube. I might have to take those split ring washers off. I don't think we're going to need those. Those are to lock things down, um, but we, since we have, we want it to come undone. Um, we won't need them. I'm spinning the, uh, the oil thread on this side so I don't have to spin the nut. Take that split washer off. Okay, so that's in there. And this one will go on here. And you can put a washer on this side with a wing nut. And of course, there's no room here on this eBay for that wing nut to spin around. So, let's see if it gives me room if I do it that way. Oh, look at that. I spun the uh, eye bolt sideways. There was just a little bit of play in there. There's really not enough room here for this washer. That one seems to be a little bit big. Well, it's not getting a washer. Okay, so that's done. Um, this is the switch band and these, these uh, I, or these wing nuts, they can't hang over the edge. You gotta spin them around. Otherwise it won't go through the tube. Okay, so now this can be either super glued or epoxy. It, it's not really that structural. Um, I can super glue it. Some people might wanna use epoxy. Um, I wanna get it right in the middle, so let me measure it, so. This is not exactly one inch. It's 2.75 that way. It's going to go this way a little bit. It's going to go right about there. Mark it. 
Okay. I better have a napkin ready. You can smear it around. And you can see that I got really good coverage in there. Oh boy, already locked down. I'm a little bit off. It's gonna be okay. All right. I'm a lot of parts. I got some extra washers and some nuts there, but that's okay. Um, this is the forward tube for the main parachute. Our fin can is already done. Now, on this particular kit, I'm looking at the length of this shock cord, and it's not very long. Um, this is the drogue shock cord for the drogue chute, and this one, I want this one probably a good 15 feet, and I'm only about three feet right there. So I'm going to add an extra shot cord here to make up the difference on the, the upper stage or the upper part where the main chute can go. Um, this one doesn't need to be quite as long. You can make this one between 8 and 10 feet long. Um, the kit doesn't come with that, so we'll have to add that separately. Um, make sure that there's no super glue on that. And then uh, I think I'm out of parts, so I think the build on this particular kit is done, but we're going to need parachutes. It doesn't come with parachutes. It doesn't come with um, heat shields. Um, it did come with, no, it did not. It did not come with the rail guides either. But other than that, the kit is done, ready for painting, uh, and then putting in the recovery system, uh, and then mounting the electronics. And then we're ready to fly it. Um, so this is the uh, typical fiberglass kit from Mach 1. My name is Tim Van Milligan. You're watching the Apogee Rocketry Workshop. Thank you for coming. Uh, down below is a subscribe button. And below that on YouTube are comments. And if you have a comment, you can go ahead and leave that there. If you want really more information about this kit, come to the Apogee Components website. Our web address is www.apogeerockets.com.